Hi everyone, this is Eric with Magic Light, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Magic Light Wi-Fi bulb to your Amazon Echo so you can talk to Alexa and have her turn on your bulbs, uh, dim them, and uh, control them in different rooms. So in this video demonstration, I'm going to be using the newest Magic Light Triangle Wi-Fi bulb, and if you guys are interested in one of these, I include a link in the description down below. So let's get into it. Alexa, are you ready? I'm ready when you are. Perfect. So first I created an account for all these bulbs on Magic Light. When you first set up your bulb, you know, you're going to go through the process of logging into your home router. So these are all connected to my Wi-Fi. Uh, so what you want to do is go to your app store and download the Amazon Alexa app. Let's click on that and let's go ahead and click on the top menu at the top left. Go to your skills. And now you're going to search for Magic Light. Here it is right here, Magic Light Wi-Fi. And let's go ahead and enable it. Now, if you don't remember what your email or what email or password that you used, I'll go ahead and show you how you can reset it or you can just even create a new account. And if you guys want to go to that time, it's at the very end of the video. It's right there. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with the email and the password that I used and sign in. Okay, once you sign in, it links your bulbs to your Amazon Echo. And now we are ready to start controlling or start creating groups rather. So, or at first actually you wanna discover devices. So um, the Alexa is gonna go through and uh, figure out what bulbs are actually available. Okay, and now it's discovered the bulbs. If you scroll to the bottom, you can see the three bulbs that I have here. I have three different bulbs. I'm gonna put these in three different rooms of my house. So I'm going to go ahead and create three different groups and I'll show you how to do that. So what you want to do is go ahead and create a group and I'm going to select the first one in this list right here and then enter the group name. So let's say this one, let's put this one in the bedroom and then save. Or if you wanted to put more in the bedroom, you can just select as many as you want. So save and it's important when naming them to keep the name simple. You don't want to put like bedroom one, bedroom two, uh, because it, it doesn't work as well with the voice commands. So let's go ahead and create another group. I'm going to select the second one in the list. I'm going to name this one kitchen. And then the last one, I'm going to go ahead and select this third one in the list. And this one I'm going to put in my hallway. Okay. So now I created my three groups and now I should be able to control them with Alexa. So let's go ahead and try that out. Alexa, turn off bedroom light. Okay. Alexa, turn off hallway light. Okay. Alexa, turn off kitchen light. Okay. And now what you can also do is you can uh, have it control different brightness settings. Alexa, turn on bedroom light to 50%. Okay. Alexa, turn on kitchen light to 100%. Okay. Alexa, turn on hallway light. Okay. Alexa, Dim hallway light to 10%. Okay. So as you can see, I have these each individually grouped into different parts of my house. You can group them all in one. Um, it's really up to you. This is great for people you know, who have uh, limited mobility or if you want to just make your home more of a smart home. And then let's say if you guys want to delete a group or move bulbs around, you can always go back into, let's say bedroom. You can see what bulb is selected and then you can delete it if you want or select different bulbs. So let's say you selected the wrong one, go ahead and select another one and swap them around in here. Okay, so now let's say you're trying to log into the Amazon Alexa app and you forgot your password. You're not really sure what it is. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what you wanna do is go into your Magic Light Wi-Fi app. Make sure you guys are using the version two or the V2. And if you don't remember what email you used, you can go back up to the top. It'll show you the email. If you don't remember the password, what you can do is just sign out and then go back and sign in and then you can uh, retrieve the password that way or you can always just create a, a new account and then that way you can use that new email 
and password to log back into your Amazon Echo. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do have any questions, please just leave them in the comments down below. If you found the video helpful, we always appreciate those thumbs up and have a good day. Alexa, goodbye. Bye for now.